Live from America's heartland, this is the Daily Truth Report with your host, Noah Christopher. Welcome back to the Daily Truth Report. I'm your host, Noah, and returning today is one of our favorites, Bo Polney. Bo, welcome back to the show. Hi, Noah. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. Bo, last time you were on, I, I realized I forgot to do this. I want to I want to give a, a brief intro for people that don't know who you are. Every, Every time we do an interview, we always have new people uh, tune in for the very first time. And we also have a lot of repeat viewers. But for people that don't know Bo, Bo has been featured on CNBC's Crypto Trader. His videos on YouTube are, have been viewed over 5 million times and probably a lot more than that if you take away the censorship and you add in the Rumble videos and everything else. He's very popular online. He's the founder of gold2024cast.com. And he's been the featured speaker at dozens of industry conferences all over the world. And we are very pleased to have him here on the show today. So, Bo, we appreciate your time. And we are very excited to see what you have for us today. Thanks, Noah. I appreciate the, the intro. And, um, yeah, you know, I just, I think you, I think you, Noah, do a, an incredible amount of work. And I know what that involves because I work all the time, too. Uh, and I just, I see your website. I see the details you put into it, Noah. And, uh you are a very hardworking man, and I, I and I respect that. So thank you for making me a part of that. Hey, thank you so much. Well, Bo, I, I want to give you a second to uh, explain what you do. As you can see on the screen behind Bo, he, he calls himself an analyst of time. And, and that means he looks at the time cycles that govern our world, the time cycles that have been printed in the Bible that are replaying themselves in our world today. And so, Bo, before we even get into your slides, because you have a lot of updates today and they're really exciting, I want to get into them in just a minute. But tell everybody a little bit about how you do your analysis in, in case someone's watching you for the first time. How, how, do, you, how do you run your information and, and, and tell, us, tell us how you would describe what you do? You know, prophetically, I've had, um, I had a prophet, actually. I got a prophecy from God a couple of years ago. And so I never knew what I did specifically until God said, you know, Bo, my analyst of time. And that kind of blew me away because God called me by name. So that's like, wow. Um, that's and pretty I, amazing. Yeah, that's, it's, <laughs> if you want to, yeah, I don't know how to even <laughs> comprehend that moment still to today, but that was wild. Um, and then he called me, you know, they said the analyst of time, like, oh, that actually makes sense. So um, what I've done years, you know, for years now, as I'm um, Used to be a doctor years ago, and I retired. And I got it. I looked into the Bible, and a lot of these events have been going down the world. The point is, within the Bible, there's Revelation. Revelation talks about Daniel and Daniel's timeline. Daniel spoke, you know, for God, and he laid out Daniel's timelines of end times. What I came to realize, this is like my starting point, was that gold, specifically gold and silver, followed the patterns of Daniel his timing windows. So not, not that we are living right now in, in the last seven years as, as described in Revelation, the pattern of seven years, gold specifically follows. And so by cracking that pattern analysis, I was able to kind of see how it lines up with 42 weeks and how gold patterns of 42 weeks. And the long story short, what I came to realize is life is predictable. And then when the Bible, it says that which has been will be again. So I don't not able to foretell events, but I can foretell important time points into the future. Uh, you know, it's impossible. I'm, I'm human. I don't do everything correct. I don't know, you know, but my batting average is pretty high. Um, we've had some in, incredible uh, dates that we predicted into the future and incredible events happen on, on those dates. Uh, and then when, and now the really wild part is we are in end times, as you know, no, listen to my presentations. We and so now these seven cycles are so powerful. There, there's numerous cycles within cycles that are, are now occurring. And on these cycles, we are seeing very important key or critical things occur on specific dates. So we are um, now we've progressed in Revelation. We know we've already seen the first seal open, we've seen the second seal open. We are now stepping into or about to see a third seal moment, the black horse with the scales. Um, so, and all of this is tying in with time. And God is a, per, you know, God's a perfectionist. So when he speaks, he speaks with perfection. He uses the perfect word for everything that comes that he speaks. Um, and so because it's he, everything's perfection, his math is perfect. 
And so what that's what I've come to realize is, you know, when one of the one of the slides in the presentation I include, it just shows you how from like when Trump gets elected, how all of these cycle patterns or the day counts um, land on key critical biblical events or you know, just time events of the world. So events within the world on these specific biblical calculated dates. So that's what I can tell you. Um, I, I know that we are now living in, in prophetic times. Incredible changes are about to happen. Uh, right behind me, if you read what it says, uh, gold uh, in yes. 2020, 2021, uh, God's new era begins. So we are that that's a stepping point where God's about to intervene. He's about to derail everything that has been going on and when i mean everything i live just everything these people are going to fall um everything that we perceive as reality will shift uh the next two to three months into november is supposed to be just the most we're supposed to see the most powerful move and this is prophetic the most powerful move of god's spirit ever in the history of this world that is what is coming. So as wild as you know the Red Sea moment was, as wild as when um, when the, the the ground parted and uh, the water cracked and the water shut up during the Noah's Noah cycle, it's supposed to be even more powerful. But we're supposed to see the glory of God on this earth. So the world is supposed to wake up because the world is sleeping. There are so many people that are Christian that are lukewarm. And lukewarm, you know, what God says about lukewarm Christians, I will spit you out. You know, he wants people to be on passion and passionate fire and love with him because he's a loving, jealous God. He wants you to love him. But in, in by you loving him, he returns you love and grace. And, and he's this is the creator. So um, we're supposed to see something, it just the, a complete shift. So it's really exciting to see that we get to live in these times. The prophets of old says, you know, would have loved to have been here. We are here. Yes, it's crazy outside. Uh, yes, as the world is insane right now. Yes, the things that are going on out there are all, you can't even comprehend because they're demonic. So to some people, they're normal because they live on the wrong side of, you know, their heads are messed up. And, but the ones mm. that are awake to us, Noah, this is insanity of what's going on. I can't watch the news because it, so the point is, it's just everything is fake. Numbers are fake. The news is fake. Every single thing that comes out of their mouth is fake. So as a psychoanalyst, I analyze time. I don't care what they have to say. I don't care what they do. It's all irrelevant because cycles precede events. And what that means is cycles are already written forward. So all I know is that my God wins. All I know is that these people will fall. All I know is that their day of vengeance, or God's day of vengeance is upon us. And, the, when, and I would hate to be on the wrong side of that trade when, uh, when God, the creator, comes against you for what you just did. When I say you, no, I don't mean you. I mean these people of what they just did. Mm -hmm. These evil people, what they just did. They are going to experience Noah, these people are going to experience the power of God. They are going to run. They're go they when that when the, when God starts to move and, and reveal this is and it's going to be in an instant. It's not going to be long. And so when the, mm -hmm. when, the, when this starts coming out, these people are going to run for the hills. Many there's going to be I, suicide, who knows what's going to happen, but this is going to be the greatest revealing in all of history. And the greatest fall of all of history. When I say fall, because there's two sides of everything, right? The fall of the people who've done what they've done. But when you have a fall, the other side is the greatest rise. So we're about to see the greatest financial rise and, and spiritual rise in human history because of the greatest fall. So we're about to see these two extremes come upon our world. Yeah, that, that's awesome, Bo. And, and I love the way you you explained that and the way you approach what you do. You come, and I want to make sure people didn't miss this. I, I don't think they could, but you you come at this from a big biblical worldview, a biblical viewpoint. You're looking at the time cycles in the Bible. You know, and the Bible even tells us that um, the seasons, the sun, moon, and the stars, 
all of these cycles are put there for us to use and for us to look at and and even the you know the zodiac calendar which has been co-opted and and you know used for the dark side that actually tells quite a story up in the stars that no one uh, can alter god put that story up there and so what, what i want people to you know you're not you're not you're an analyst of time but you're not you're not a fortune teller you're not a you know someone that's doing tarot cards you're coming at this from a from a biblical view and, and i think that's fantastic biblical and mathematical and mathematical and that was something else you said you said you said the more you've dug into this you, you've realized just how precise god's math and his timing is and you know, it reminds me of a, of an old quote from Chuck Missler. I don't know if you know who that is, but I bet a lot of our viewers know Chuck. He, and he, he was a great uh, biblical scholar. And he, he said, you know, I've had to revise my opinions many times over the years, but it's always been because I didn't take the Bible literally enough and seriously enough. And so every time I've had to go back, I had to realize, oh, I, I have to take this a little more seriously. And, and that is exactly what I'm hearing you say. So re really cool stuff. Bo, thanks for that awesome intro. Um, uh, if you guys are not excited after that intro, then uh, I don't know what to tell you because uh, we're going to talk about some big stuff. Bo, you have some uh, amazing, beautiful slides here. I'm going to share my screen so everybody can see them. There we go. These slides are always available. I'm going to put the link right below the video. Bo gives these out for free. You can download them. Uh, just click on the link below this video wherever you're watching this and get these we're going to cover a lot of this but we can't cover all all 65 slides today so grab this uh but Bo, uh, please walk us through this tell me where you want me to start and uh I, I want you to kind of tell us where we're at in the timeline what cycle are we in and and what's coming in the next 10 20 30 days sure no like the point is like you just said these slides are available. I made, I put hours and hours. At first, I get prophetic insight or I, I listen to what some of the prophets say. Then when I sleep, I, I get input. I, I put things together in my head. I, 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 I piece everything together. So this is hundreds and hundreds and hours of piecing the world together from what I get, what prophets get. And people will, in the end, find out how incredibly accurate a lot of what is in this going into the future is now and will be. So this is a, a looks a look all the way into the end of this decade and into the you know, early part of 2030. So there's incredible information in here. And guess what, Noah? As I've said a thousand times, this is free. I do this for the world. God has blessed me in many ways. So in return, or this, this is just out of love for God. This is what I do. I I, I want to wake up His church to the truth. Because the truth will set you free. And when you start to realize how incredible all of this is, and you read this presentation, you come to realize that none of, none of nothing in here is by chance. It's mm -hmm. planned by the creator. So we are now in times where, you know, we're to see as much as crazy as the world is, we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, and, and more is coming. So um, to, to start off, I think, you know, page one, the next three seasons or these three seasons are going to be truly dramatic. Uh, we're in summer, uh, I believe, uh, as it states in, in Isaiah 61, we're supposed to see the day of vengeance of God. That's where God acts for the love of his people. Um, he, they're, you know, they're, they're cornered. They're stuck up against the Red Sea right now. They can't stop evil. And God's about to step in. And say, and you know, this is the point of we you know where Pharaoh's arm, army is attacking, and we the people are pinned up against the Red Sea with nowhere to go. And you've got a lot of people saying right now, you know, why did you let this happen to us? You know, and so they've lost faith in, in what did, you know the Moses stand still and watch the salvation of, of the Lord, for he will work for mm -hmm. you. For us today, we yep. will see the salvation of our Lord because he will work for us we've prayed we've been patient and and he's given us you know he's he's let it come to the very end now and now god's about to act um and and the, the reason being was because the glory could not go to man when the red sea parted everybody knew god did it it wasn't moses moses maybe raised his staff but no one said moses <laughs> parted that red sea right for the mm -hmm. same reason when 45 comes back right he's not getting get the glory He's going to come back to work, to fix the right. damages, okay? He's not coming back for glory. He's going to come back because we are going to be begging him to come back 
because of the crazy that's happened within the world and he will know how to fix it. And he's gonna bring on this new bi uh, biblical e economy. A biblical economy is a king, what's called a kingdom economy based on God's money, gold and silver. So we're heading into these incredible times and we are, you know, we're supposed to see them between sem summer now. Uh, fall is gonna be hypnotic. And there's a reason for that per the Kim Clement prophecy that we did in our last interview. Mm -hmm. uh, and that lines up with my timelines perfectly for November being just insane for the, the it's just the minds that people will be, some will be just delirious that cannot believe what is going on because uh, right. all the truths are just in front of you. And some people just will not be able to accept it, but they will have to. So it's November is going to be just wild um and then we head into winter when uh you know we're just going to see moves like we haven't seen before ever um on some of the precious metals and you know that's why he says god i will make you know and and all your precious metals we're going to see um you know the, the spirit of holy spirit just rise within the people and, and they're going to be you know calling out to god and you know that's what he's saying i will make you happy of another part of the kim clement prophecy so that takes us uh, through the next few pages but the greatest wealth transfer is coming the, the jubilee hey, is, is yeah go ahead Bo, be, before we even get on to that next slide uh you you were one of the first people that that I really remember ever saying this, and now I'm hearing it from a lot of people. I just I just heard Cliff High talking about it yesterday, and a lot of the prophetic voices are talking about it. But you've been saying for quite a while now that there's actually some some chaos coming. There's going to be some tough times still yet to come as all of this unwinds and they fall and fall. There, there's a lot of that still coming, and then the out the the end of the story is going to be really good. But it's it's not as though there's just going to be a moment and and 45 is going to be back in office and everything's going to be okay. We still have some tough times to go. And and I actually looked back, Bo, at an interview that you and I did back in November, and the headline that that we put on that interview it said, Bo Polney says chaos is coming, but Trump wins. And you you were saying that even back in November when a lot of people were saying he'll be back any minute now, maybe next month. You've been saying that we've got some tough times to still go through, and and are are we essentially in the in the middle of those right now? Well, you know, I think I've always referenced the fact the fact that Trump is a builder and he comes to rebuild. Okay, so and I, and I think I've as, as far as back as last year, I kept saying that you know, yeah, we all would have liked Trump to have won, right? That like. He did. Okay, but the point is to be an officer. And we all would have liked that. But then the glory would not have gone to Trump. It would, I'm going to, would have gone to Trump and not to God. So, mm -hmm. and we, so we have to go through this because the world really needs to see what the heck is going on. Because it's at some point, you just you can't believe the insanity. And, and we're now we're living in it. So um, as far as I can you know, go back into last year, you know, I've always said Trump needed, when he returns, he's going to come back as the builder to rebuild the financial system that was broken. Well, it's not going to break it. Trump is God's appointed, and meaning that you know, whenever he's around, everything grows. So he's not going to mm -hmm. be in, in, in the, on, as, as, as leader and chief of the United States while the economy is collapsing, right? So maybe in the stock market, but not the, not the world's or the currency, the dollar. So as I gather, I, I believe, you know, he could potentially supposed to return this year. If, if not, it'll be next year, but he comes back because we're still in the, in the Trump cycle, which takes us all the way into 2024. So, so somewhere he's going to return, but I believe that's a very high probability it'll be into November because we are gonna see this massive, these massive world events uh, between September, as the new year begins, and when I say new year, I mean the biblical new year. This is a biblical new year, which starts September 6th, Rosh Hashanah, and that goes all the way into next September. So mm. this is a one-year, 50-year jubilee, and the 50-year jubilee is, is a period of rest. It's a period where families come together. It's a period of financial blessings, and the blessings and all the changes, you know, are, uh, God provides enough for three years. So even with how, and, and, and another prophetic word you said, uh, you said about chaos, right? Um, uh, so I think it was Lois said uh, last year, or yeah, I think something like that, where when Trump comes back in, chaos erupts. And you have to understand because they're going to, the demons are going to, and the people who are just on the wrong side of understanding are going to be freaking out. Right. their minds are going to be blown 
How could this be? You know, if you right yeah. now are in the mindset that, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Biden is is the actual, you know, president, right? And then Trump comes, could you imagine the, <laughs> the, the mental retardation you're going to have to experience? <laughs> to, because you're, you were like 100% crystal clear adamant that you were right. And then you're finding uh -huh. out you were 100% <laughs> wrong. Like this, because right now it's come down to people are either, you know, they're on this side of the camp or they're on that side of the camp, you know, or they were this side or that side, but the, the middle ground is gone, right? So right. when they, when this whole side over here has to come to this side, <laughs> oh, there is going to be, uh, oh, people are just going to go crazy and they won't know what to do. So I don't well, know we, we saw <laughs> We saw part of that in 2016, but, but you're right. It's going to be on steroids when, when it happens again now that, that it's, it's going to feel like the rug was pulled out from under them. They, they they melted down in 2016. And that was just a few videos we got to see. This is going to be like a good chunk of the population that is just <laughs> going to be mind blown because because it happened. So it's not like, oh, no, no. This is the first time in history that a president falls, another one comes back because they come, they come to realize the whole thing was a fraud, right? And their minds are going to melt. I, I just... I, I feel bad for these people. If number one, that they're asleep still right now, that they have no clue. You know, I feel bad for them. And the fact that, you know, then, they ha then they're going to go through this mental anguish. Wow, it, it is. And, but, you know, but God needs to do this because these ones, they refuse to wake up. They simply, they are right in their own head. It's like, you know, Saul. Saul, for the mm -hmm. life of him, you could have talked to him till your, you know, till your face turns blue and he will, he would not listen to you. He was, highly intelligent, knew everything. Um, you couldn't change him for a, a second. He was out to kill every single Christian because he was right in his own head. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the only person that could change Saul was the appearance of Christ on the road to Damascus. He appeared to right. him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? first words out of his mouth were the guy, the entity God, that he didn't believe was even God. It was Christ. He didn't believe any of that. First words out of his mouth were Lord, Lord. So he had first words, he called him God. With right. a, the, and, and he was persecuting everybody that, that believed in that God. Right? So it was, so, but it took God to appear to him to wake Saul up. That is the reason this has to go to the extreme. It has to go to the extreme of these people who are all blind to the truth. They are all souls about to experience the power and the hand of God, the glory. When it appears, these people will have, uh, you know, he went blind for three days. That's called chaos in your own head, okay? <laughs> Me went blind for three days after that event. So don't be surprised that for three days, there's just going to be mental, you know, people are going to lose it. I don't know how, how this plays out, but these people, majority, many, I don't know all of them, many will be woken up and wow, wow, you know, <laughs> the, the, they're, they're going to be going from Saul to Paul and that was painful. Paul was freaking out for three days, couldn't, he was blind, couldn't see mm -hmm. nothing, you know, and so that's, that's kind of what, what's about to happen here, Noah. I don't know, but you know, it is just going to be painful for those who are asleep. And number two is they haven't prepared for anything. Right, right. Well, Bo, tell me about, I've got up on the screen here, for those who don't know, what is the Jubilee year and, and why is that important? You've, I, you've got a lot of importance around this. Uh, give us the, the background on that. Yeah, so go to page th uh, three, please. One higher. <clears throat> or actually, uh, page three, one low. Uh, yeah, is that three? Sorry, my, my mistake. Page five actually describes it. So in essence, uh, it, yeah, so the, the Jubilee is a year of rest. Um, it's you, you're supposed to come back to your clan, to the families, so the families reunite, you, you rest. Um, and this is key. You will dwell in the land securely. So in other words, peace and safety is returned to the United States, to the most lots, lots of the world. So peace and safety will be 
uh, returned and the land will yield its fruits. So that, so we're about to see a uh, return to law and order constitution issues, mm -hmm. but the law and order it comes back in the year of Jubilee. I will command you blessings on you sufficient for three years. So we're going to have three years of God's grace or blessings. The, right this, of the year of Jubilee was, that was built in by God to the system. Yeah, so so that's why I, you know, I, I believe these people are kind of freaking right now. Um, they know that potentially God could do something. I, I'm just assuming because it's it's cl crystal clear that if you don't follow God's law, this is God's law. You don't follow it. Well, He's going to force the event, and 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 it's just Isaiah 61. You know, the year of the Lord's favor and the day. I repeat, the day of His vengeance. He needs a day, one day, mm. and these people fall. And it's, and it's like, it's too, you know, you've got a, you got a timeline, the world's on a railroad track going on a certain timeline, right? God intervenes, he changes the timeline. I've said, like, it's like a poker card. God, no one knows yep. what's God's secret. He has a secret. He's going to, he's going to pull his hmm. card. He's going to change the, the direction of the world. He's going to change a timeline. We go on a different timeline. Now we're going to be on a new timeline and that pushes us into the year of Jubilee. So it's an event that cannot be stopped. Uh, it's and it's yeah, it, it, it provides for 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 means for so you get means so those so it's a it's a time of redemption or means so you know you find financial means finances okay um, you shall not wrong so you shall not wrong one another but more importantly if you have family members that need financial help or any kind of help you are support to support your family and then in essence the year of jubilee is directly related to the Egypt okay so I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And remember, when, they, when he brought them out of the land of Egypt, oh, they took all the spoils. Israel took all the gold and all the silver because they were scared right. of God. Because what happened, God just killed all the, God freaked out Egypt. And so they literally just, whatever you want, just take it. Get out of here. So they gave them all the gold and silver. They, they left with all the gold and silver. So they left with the spoils. Can you believe that? That and right. so that that is that's a moment in time, and they release from bondage. So that is what a jubilee is. It's 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 just it's something that we cannot comprehend because I don't think if you were in Egypt at the time you would have comprehended what that meant. But you just you know you didn't want after all those plagues they didn't want to have anything to do with Israel anymore. They just wanted mm -hmm. out. Yep. So so that there oh, that's excellent. what a jubilee is. Good, and that's uh, and, and, and you're saying that's coming up. Yeah, that's coming up, and that takes us even to, to slide six. So the next slide is basically the kingdom economy. But that's really, in essence, what that is. A kingdom economy is God's, okay, God is king, Christ the king, okay? People say, you know, uh, I don't believe in organized religion. Okay, I want to be very mm -hmm. clear to you, okay? Organized religion is made by man. Mm -hmm. When Christ was on this earth, he was king on the earth. He was king in essence, of Christianity, of the, of the Christians. He was king of his kingdom, period. Christianity is not a religion. It's a kingdom believing in mm -hmm. the king of God, Christ, period, okay? It's, and so at, after Christ, man created all these religions on the world to control man. That's all they've done. Mm -hmm. Every religion is a religion made by man to control man. And it has nothing to do with Christianity because Christianity is the only thing on earth that is not a religion. It's actually a kingdom with Christ King. And so the kingdom economy is economy based on God's money. Oh, it's God's money. Well, gold and silver. Um, Bitcoin is going to go up too. But again, Bitcoin is not God's money. God's money is gold and silver. Um, prophetically, uh, this is important. God's money will rise, it goes up with his kingdom. This next move mm. on gold and silver is the move of all moves, of all moves, of all moves. Mm. When gold and silver go off after, when September hits, they, they turn and they go up. And when they go up, they are never, ever going to come down to these prices ever again. We're about to see the kingdom economy come online where we're going to see damages and blessings paid. And then it's going to be just explosions in the price of precious metals now you know this year and into years ahead so incredible price moves are coming and it's all because of the kingdom economy that's coming online and so that as you're saying on the page 27 that's the break uh, the top chart is a, a simple example of a cup and handle chart pattern for those who don't understand charting 
So a blue arrow points to roughly where the world is sitting at or as precious metals are sitting at. The bottom chart is another example of cup and handle, but it's present day. And so mm -hmm. when that handle with the blue arrows pointing with the symbol, if you look at the, compare the two, when the top of that handle breaks, I believe it happens in September, it lifts off and will never come down ever again. So it, it's, wow, look is, at that. It's, a, it's a 40 year pattern that's about to break. And then, and then the kingdom economy rises. So when it, as it, that, that top example, the top, that rise as it's going up, up like that, that's the rise of God's kingdom. That's the rise mm. of his money in his kingdom. So that's the kingdom, the rise of the kingdom economy. And that's what's at our doorstep. And so it's, uh, you know, we get to watch something, um, you know, that has been controlled for generations. We're going to watch them lose control. Yeah, because Bo, this is what people are looking at on the screen there. That's 40 years of a silver chart. And many people would say it's been artificially manipulated down for 40 years and, and put a top on it. And, and you're saying we're, and some people have given up, they've just stopped buying it or they don't care anymore. But you're saying this 40 years of manipulation is about to come to an end. Right. And this is where in Bible, it says, you know, that which has been the top chart will be again. Get it? Mm -hmm. That which has been the example will be again, the bottom chart. So that is yeah, a wow. perfect example of what's written in the Bible. So what do I do? I'm a cycle analyst. I analyze time. I'm an analyst of time. How do you analyze time? Well, you analyze cycles. The top chart is a cup and handle cycle. The bottom chart is a cup and handle cycle. That's just missing the breakout. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's and right. If, and if you think that that chart... Um, does it make sense for 40 years <laughs> that chart is un it's it took 40 years to make a perfect chart mm -hmm. like think about that in your head for 40 years people have been calling manipulation all that happened in 40 years was a perfect chart pattern <laughs> right it's, yeah that's, it's rather that's fascinating. incredible it's really that incredible. is <laughs> Well, Bo, I want to ask you about Bitcoin and some of the other uh, alternate coins too. But actually, before, um, we, do that, before I... we do, yeah, we can do that. I, I do want to, the, the couple of key slides I want to touch base on is page um, slide twelve and thirteen. Yeah, actually, I, I yeah. wanted to ask you about. I wanted to ask you about this because this is we saw this for the first time last time you came on on the show, and this is just fascinating. And and we were about I think that was maybe a week or two ago. Now we are. I think right in the absolute middle of the tipping point. T tell me what yeah, we're looking at here. I think we're like at, at 70, for... we're at 60 or 70, 60 days. And now we're at, now we're at 80 days. Um, so yeah. we are at August 14th, a little black arrow, which is really this weekend into Monday would be the, the Nixon moment or the 50 year moment that Nixon detached or stopped the convertibility of gold in, into the dollar. So um, that would well, be, what, what is this, Bo? What, what, is, what are we looking at here? How, how did you come up with this? And what's the, what's the origin oh, yeah. of, of what this means? Right. So um, I would first quickly just go, we show this, but page nine shows a center of end times. Page nine, that shows God's design in the heavens. This is, all I can say is this is by design. How do you mm, get really incredible. 694 days backwards and forwards? You know, 1,904 days backwards and forwards to eclipse it. It's just yeah. mathematical perfection, but it all centers around May 26, 2021, being the old world completed. So the world that we grew up in for generations and the generation before that ended on May 26. Mm. Mm. The new era. Obviously a very important date right in the middle. Absolutely. There. Yes. In the stars, in the stars, mm -hmm. which means God mm -hmm. spoke. Yep. But the manifestation yep. takes a little longer to manifest. So the, so the word was word. It was happened on the May 26th manifestation and prophets will tell you this. And there are examples of that in the Bible where, you know, it, it took time for the angels to come to earth sometimes. So you'll, you'll have that delay. So, the, but the, the delay is that time factor when it becomes physical, physically evident. And so yeah. we are now in the new era spiritually and about to see it manifest physically here on earth. Does that make sense? 
it, so, it does. And you know what I love about we talked about this earlier, Bo, but but what I love about this is some people say, oh, you know, Bo, you're not supposed to be looking at the stars or the moon or whatever else. But but these are things that God put up there that cannot be manipulated. Oh no, it says you in know, the Bible to you, it says not um. Uh, you know, the, the Bible specifically talks about, you know, the signs in the heavens. It's right in mm -hmm. there. 